answer. Okay. Even though this isn't the most super powered, hype, crazy, ridiculous, awe inspiring reading, I honestly have to say I think it is the most important energy I've pulled ever for you. And it's because it speaks to our weakest point, and that is our ability to um, continue to keep going when we have an excuse to help somebody else or get distracted by something or to give up right this 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 really really sensitive time where yes our, our dreams are happening our dreams are coming true and i know that i know that sounds really cliche but it's really not um ultimately there's this little tiny threshold that you're going to uh traverse or go over and what's going to happen is that's actually taking you into uh into the place that you want to be, where you want to be. It's very difficult to see. Hold on. It, it's, it's very difficult to see. Um, but it isn't impossible to feel. There's a, so much beautiful fortune coming to you. And this is fortune that's coming to you in a way that is awkward and unusual. Maybe through a person who is awkward or, or unusual. Um, kind of a sense of you will not see this happening when it's happening. I'll tell you how you're going to align so that it happens. But first, let's get into the basics because we start with our moon cards. Hello, beautiful Cancerians. We are so drawn to and impacted by the moon. Luck is on your side. This is Sagittarius energy. And we, as we approach Sagittarius season, this is no accident, right? Sagittarius start, season starts literally within three days. Um, so that's telling us a timestamp of within three days, this luck is coming through for you. Something, something is going to happen and hit the mark. Hit the mark that maybe, or maybe be love struck, right? What, whatever your situation, this is it. This is luck is on your side. Let's take that very literally because it really is something that is going to expand and happen for you in a strange and unusual way. And the way that you're going to handle this is almost in some ways by ignoring it and by staying extremely focused on um, what it is that you love to do. That's what you're going to stay focused on. That, yeah, it's that it, like picture yourself an archer, right? And you have to hit a target. That has to be your 100% focus and passion. But what this card is saying is you're the favorite. Everybody expects you to win. Um, now that could make you very, very nervous. And ultimately, I think that's what I'm feeling here is that sense of almost self-destruction or self-sabotage that happens when we're so close to everything that we've ever wanted and we're just a little bit awkward and maybe we either give up or we're afraid to make mistakes so we stop like we give up or we mistake we think we've lost and so we give up D just don't give up whatever you do stay extremely focused right now because your focus is everything you are not through that door yet that is what I'm telling you and so I know that it sounds very cliche because I just like you, I watch all of these videos too. I watch I watch a lot of readers, my favorite readers. And yeah, sometimes it gets really wearing when you hear hey, the luck is coming, the luck is coming. This is a great moment for you. Because you're like, when, when, when? And I always answer that question when with when you stop asking when. Okay? Your focus needs to be so dead on what you're doing, not what anybody else is doing or even how they're reacting to you. Your focus has to be really engaged in an activity that you love, a person that you love, um, a project that you love. It really has to be 100% on something outside of yourself because what's that, that's going to do is it's going to almost like hook you and pull you. It's going to be like your tether, like your grappling hook, like that whole Batman thing. It'll bring you up. But it, you have to make sure that you aim it in a specific direction. And that's not going to be difficult for you. Certainly not going to be impossible for you. But the difficulty is going to become in all the distractions that are coming outside. And the distractions are not tests. They're not, the universe is on your side here. But the distractions primarily on the outside are a reflection of, all the leftover doubts, all the fear, even the fear of success. 
even the fear of success. So that's what it's, it's going to come. And I'm, but I promise you, Cancerians, the thing that I promise you above anything is that if you really just stay focused on doing, actually physically engaging in an activity that you love, your package, your package will arrive safe and sound. And you won't even be thinking about it. You'll probably trip over it when you get home. It'll be there. You won't even look for it. And then it, you're in for a very happy surprise, a happy surprise that you made yourself forget about. Your commitment is being tested. I don't consider this a real test, but it really is a sense. In in some ways, I understand like why the, why this is this energy is coming up because you are almost there, but you're not there yet. And there is that there is that um, that discouragement. You know that 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 why aren't I there yet? I listen to videos or, you know, I've done so much hard work myself or it's been years and why aren't I there yet? It's not about the why. It doesn't, it really can't. You can't give your energy over even a little bit more to those thoughts. Those thoughts are really going to just sabotage you. What you need to do is uber focus, not on success. Please, this is what I want. Clear your mind. Do not focus on success. Do not focus on dreams fulfilled. Do not focus on love. Do not focus on the main, the, 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 the ultimate goal. Focus on this, the project you're working on right here. What, what can you tangibly do and remain extremely active in that? Don't let the universe trip you up with distractions. That's your big test. And it's easy for us to get distracted. Oh my God. Especially when we get that call, somebody needs us. Somebody's here. We, oh, we, you know, somebody, somebody needs help. Somebody feels bad. You know, like some, you know, like immediately, it's like you know, big old C on our chest, cancer to the rescue, and we get really distracted. This is a, this is a sense of please don't get distracted. You're on the right track. That's that's the happy news that I want to share with you. You have to anchor your sense of hope. You have to screw your courage to the sticking place. This is a sense of. Keep it where it is and keep it focused because ultimately there's something here that is tethering you. There's something here that is so fucking real. And here you have this, the initiation. It's scary. I, this is, this energy is almost feeling like the first time you walk into the room filled with people you've always dreamed of meeting and you don't yet realize that you're one of them and you've always been one of them you're you still stand in some ways like an outsider like somebody who feels like um i'm not good enough to be here so in order to get over those feelings what you have to do is focus on what what you love to do um that activity or that a mastery that the two of you both have in common and that will take the edge off say you're finally face to face with a person that you knew at the bottom of your heart it was always going to be um a person who loved you but ultimately in order to keep yourself out of the craziness that we get into and we just all of a sudden get obsessed and with that person or with that opportunity and we just sort of like in other words lose ourselves in somebody else that's that's our biggest biggest fucking pitfall right to lose ourselves in somebody else the way that you retain yourself is because you are focused and you've already sent your grappling hook out and you've already sent that tether out if you did it because you hooked yourself into that project you hooked yourself into that passion and you will be able to keep yourself out of that pitfall that wants to suck you back. It's so close and the suction is so hard now. But the way to get rid of it is to just like ease it up. Let the tension go. Don't even get sucked into it. Don't even give it any more momentum. Because your focus this time around is not going to be on somebody else. Or the feeling that you have to be everything you think they know. You're not even going to be thinking of them, they, all of them, he, she. You're not going to be thinking of, of, of another person. You're going to be thinking of your goals. And you're going to be thinking of what you're a master of. And boy, oh boy, are you a master of this. And you are really good at this. And I want you to know deep down inside, you need to know this. You are exceptional. If you were not exceptional, you wouldn't be in that damn room. You understand? You wouldn't have even been invited to the table. You are already exceptional. You have already passed the test. You've already gotten an A. They just haven't handed you the paper yet to validate it. So what I'm asking you to do is validate it inside of yourself. 
right? Or completely forget about needing the validation at all and be so obsessed and focused on the project that they're going to be in awe of you. They're going to be like, holy crap. We can't even shake her. We, we can't even make him sweat. No, because when you're focused outside, if you need to be focused outside of yourself, this is why I'm giving you these tips because it's imperative. Write this down step by step because this is what's absolutely positively going to ensure that you actually get through this and not only get through this, but get through it and are able to enjoy and accept and receive all the blessings and abundance that's coming for you. It's coming. We've waited and you've worked a long time. And they've, there have been plenty cold, hard nights, right? But no, the blessings are coming. It, how many times do you want me to tell you? Good fortune is here, raining on you. Listen to your heart. Listen to it. Because people are noticing you. This card shows up when all of a sudden it's like people can't take their eyes off of you. You are a, nut, a stunner. They're knocking them dead. But this is what we really need to work on. This energy of thinking that because we're imperfect, because we got broccoli stuck in our teeth, because um, we showed up with our hair messed up, like all of a sudden that, that matters at all. It doesn't matter at all. Because your presence and your character and your commitment to your project is going to, nobody really cares about all those things that you think are so important and you make them so important because they're things that you don't have. They're caveats. They're, they're excuses for your failure before you've even failed. Don't do it. Stay away from it. And love your dark side. Love those parts about you. Well, not, forget about love. Let people see them. <laughs> like walk into that room your whole self. And your whole self is going to have a shadow. Masquerade. I mean, you could even take this card as fake it till you make it. But I think it's deeper than that. I think there's a sense of figuring out that you don't need to wear a mask, that you don't, I'm telling you, this opportunity is, it's, it's not coming in when you're in full makeup. Like, you know, in our dreams, we always imagine that we're going to meet the love of our life. Um, you know, when, when we're in full, full Gucci, <laughs> it's never when it happens. It's never when it happens. It happens when you run out, you haven't even showered yet. Your hair is in a, a fucking nasty bun. Um, you know, you got no makeup on or you're wearing the same clothes and the same socks you wore for the past week. You know, that's always when you bump into them. And what are you going to do? You're going to back down. That's so many of us. Oh my God, this, my heart is beating. So many of us cancers would do that. So many of us. And I, for all of you who don't care about the love and romance, this is only a metaphor. I'm talking, you could, you could use this person right now as the opportunity that you bump into, right? Uh, you might bump into the the executive, the CEO of the company that you always wanted to work for, right? And I, and you're going to be in your shittiest, you're going to be in your shittiest. It's it's not going to happen where where there's a point, there's not going to happen um, when, you know, in your, in your dream atmosphere, your dream setting of, oh, it's, 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 it's this perfect setting where you, you can feel like whatever, whatever the public thought is validated about you. No, no, because it's not about what the public thinks. This is about something in the public ending, finishing, coming to a conclusion. There could have been divine timing here um, because of the pandemic, because this really, those cards really speak to um, something about the pandemic, either delaying things or resetting things, um, something started just starting to open back up. And that really worked out to your benefit and in a, in a way that it's not really clear right now and it's not going to really be clear to me because it's going to be your individual story. You can tell me your individual story. Don't write it in the comments. Email me because the comments get too long, you know. Um, but we're each going to have those individual stories. And you're going to look back on this moment and be like, I, I mean, this is literally you. Your rite of passage is holding yourself to your complete self. And defying their expectations, defying their, their ability to look over you or look past you, defying it because this time you're not going to believe what they say about you. You're going to believe what you know about you. So many times our pitfall is to let everybody else's thoughts and opinions supersede or supplant our own. 
this time, the way that we actually walk through, this time we believe in ourselves. We don't believe what they say about us. So when they look at us for the first time, they may think, oh, or they may think ugly. They may think a lot of things, but we're going to hold their eye contact. And we're going to talk straight and we're going to shine big and we're going to shine bright. And really nobody can stun and charm and envelop people the way that we can when we know that we're worth their attention. Flame of inspiration. You use that as that part of you that burns and continues to shine. You use that cancer when you feel all the cold and the energy suck out of the room because you're afraid. You use that flame of inspiration like in other words, it's almost tricking your mind because we, we, as Cancerians, we always want to take care of something else. We always want to make something else more important than ourselves. Okay, but this is the secret. This is how we're tricking ourselves. We're actually making what we're working on and we're creating more important than ourselves. We're making our actual um, motivation. We're making our, we're making our goal. We're making our end game what's more important than ourselves. Right. So even though our confidence may be knocked out, the we, we it, you know, the wind gets knocked out of us when something somebody we think is better than us or or we don't think we're good enough for has walked into the room. But what we do and what we love so much, if it's sitting right, it's almost like sticking up for your child. You know, nothing, nothing would make us whether we didn't look good that day or we just got fired or we were broke if somebody messed with our child we wouldn't give a damn we wouldn't think twice do i have a right to or am i good enough for hell no we would care so much about protecting them that we would just like that all of our fears and and self-consciousness would go out the window well that goal that's your child now that aim that's your child now you got to remain completely and totally 100% devoted, Cancerians. Devote your full heart, all of yourself, to where you know this is leading. And then go. Because honestly, flowing it, 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 it's all happening in divine timing. Night and day, your life is about to change. All because you... stood up for you let me get into the spirit guide reading oh one more really important card how can you mother yourself you know what i'm saying that's that's exactly that's exactly what i meant this sense of you taking care of you as if you were your child well now would you ever let anybody say that your child was ugly would you ever let anybody say that your child wasn't good enough would you ever let anybody pigeonhole your child so what you're going to do is you're going to be your own mother Cancer, cancer, cancer. This is you, 150% focused on the absolute beauty that's right in front of you. This is also you getting attention. Somebody finally noticing, you know, you know, have you ever seen a hummingbird? Um, it's hard sometimes to see them because they're so small. They're so small that sometimes people don't look at them close enough. And so, so many people are missing their beauty because when you actually take time to overlook their smallness and you see really closely, they are stunning. And I'm telling you, somebody's actually going to finally look really closely at you. Be here now. Be present. Don't be in the past. Don't be worried about what you would have rather been. No, be right here. Be seen. Be seen. Clear out the clutter. This is us. This is Cancerian energy. This is saying two things. One, that this is a transitional time in our lives, that we're evolving and we're becoming a better version of ourselves. Um, and then two, this is saying clear out the clutter. Let go of the things that aren't serving you. It's our time right now to be light and airy and not let anything weigh us down. Right? And that's exactly what we would do for our children, right? 
we would shoulder all the burdens so that they could live their best life. Well, you're being asked now to be your own parent, right? Let, let, let the past shoulder your burdens and be in the present, be free and completely available. Have confidence and strength. This is trusting your heart, having courage. And it's going to take more courage than you ever thought you had. But I'm telling you, you're going to be so surprised because you will be a fierce and ferocious lion. That's how you're going to trick your mind because our minds are always the ones that fuck us up. And you know it's true. So what we're going to do is we're going to trick our minds into thinking, but we're our child. Or would we let anybody talk to us like we were our child? Or, or they're criticizing our work. They're criticizing our product. They're criticizing our idea. Would we ever let anybody do that to our kid? No. You're going to attack them like a ferocious beast. You're going to follow your heart and, and with your whole heart defend every aspect of what you have to offer. Be fearless and bold. This is Aries energy out right there in your face. Like who gives a fuck who's looking? But everybody better be looking. Um, there is always enough. There's so much emotion here. And there's, there is a lot riding on this. But there is an abundance here that I don't think you realize. There's, there's so much for you, you, for you to take, for you to have. This is saying you're not doing anything wrong to anybody else or taking away their potential or taking away their opportunities by succeeding yourself by opening up a door for you you're opening up doors for more people you're actually creating more abundance by taking the opportunities that are presented to you you're actually adding to the abundance um aries energy and piscean energy a beginning and an end you've come what this is telling me is you have come full circle in the cycle Dream the world into being. You're leaving your past behind you. This is scorpionic energy. Your past is influencing your future, but in a lot of ways, maybe it's informing your future. Magic works through you. This is another Cancerian energy and another transitional energy of you are of almost like it's the highest, most spiritual aspect of ourselves where we create a brand new life for ourselves. It's the transition between life and death and death and life, death and rebirth. And no, it's not scorpionic energy. In other words, it's saying that this was always in you. But you have to do it. That's something that I really need to like pause and, and, and really drive home with this reading. And I hope that you guys have watched me this like whole time and you're not missing this part because this is a really important part. Cancerian, this opportunity is made for you, but it is not going to come and plop in your lap. The universe is absolutely requiring that you do what you have to do to go and get it. You must go and get it. You must insist upon it. It's how the universe is going to know it's you. It's like your thumbprint. Nothing is wasted. This is the treasure in the trash heap. This is the surprise victory. Um, this is also finding beauty or the, the hidden beauty in something. Trust in the magic, a whole new beginning. So first of all, let me say, magic works through you. Trust in the magic. You know what that means. Trust in yourself. Trust in yourself. And trust that you are the beauty that everybody needs. Believe in yourself. Because right now you're planting your future. How does this translate into 3D? Well, let's go over to tarot and see. But ultimately, what I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview is plain and simple. You are good enough. You're good enough for them. You're good enough for it. You are absolutely, not only are you good enough, you designed it. Your energy created it. And now you're just getting recognized for it. 
Let's go into the angel card readings. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And also be sure to ring that bell so that you get all the notifications when I upload the new content. Brand new cancer specific readings come out every single Friday between 5 and 6 a.m. California time. So please be sure to uh, like and subscribe, share this video and sort of support the channel. But also then you'll get the videos as soon as I upload them. Join me also every Monday through Friday. I do a daily live reading over on Instagram. You can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries. And uh, maybe we can chat live. And then move more. Um, there's always an extended. That link is below in the description box. You can go there now if you want. But uh, please, but I suggest you stay around for the angel messages because they're important. Um, but then go hop on over to the video Vimeo. You get the extended reading. Um, Carol gives us real nitty gritty and real specifics, and I think that that's why it's so important. Um, but ultimately, you can also subscribe directly to Vimeo, and you can have access to those extended readings about a day before um, people who watch the YouTube videos. FYI, um, let me do one more just in case. Oh, wow. These were hidden. All right, Cancer. Harmony. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. You hear the tune. Keep in that harmony. Keep on that rhythm. It's not supposed to be easy. Don't think that just because it isn't easy and you have to think about it, that you're not doing it right or that it's not meant to be. That's not true. You're making it meant to be. You decide. Peace. No matter where you are or what you're doing, inner peace is always possible. All it takes is a subtle shift in awareness. Think love and peace will follow. Peace. Harmony. Devote flow and timing all of this has to do with balance it's okay to not be perfect all you're doing is fine tuning like a, a master musician instruments always get out of tune it's it's in their nature the nature of the use just fine tune that that doesn't make you not worthy or not an artist it makes you responsible it makes you an artist i remember um um, I, I saw an, an interviewer just said something on, uh, online with uh, Stephen King, who I'm sure you've heard of, right? Everybody's heard of him. And he said that, you know, I make sure um, that I write six pages a day. And I think he was doing an interview with another author and they were like, wow, that's that's a lot because it is like six full pages of a novel, like whole and complete and well-rounded it's it's devotion and at least six pages a day and that's really what makes a professional somebody who really knows what they're doing stand out from an amateur an amateur sits there and just waits for that divine burst of inspiration to pour out of them and then they think oh if i don't have that something's wrong with me that's stupid that's basically saying i'm not going to use my mind at all i'm not going to discipline myself at all i'm just going to sit here and pray for the luck and the the spiritual high to inspire me no you're being called to grapple your energy and conduct it like a professional and when you show that to people they're not going to care about mistakes that you make because they're going to trust you with their projects and they're going to trust you with themselves because they see you have yourself under control and you're not at the mercy of just some universal inspiration but you bring the inspiration by showing people how it's done forgiveness let the past go Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. Vision. A positive vision, a positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by love and light. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. You're changing the game. 
That's what you're doing. Surrender. There is no point in pushing the barrow up such a steep hill. Go back to the start. Surrender your expectations. There is an easier way. When the time is right, a new path will appear. You don't have to try so hard. You are the master already. And last but not least, Archangel Raphael. Feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light. I, Archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. Trust. And for a little bit more encouragement, let's head over to Tarot. The link is below. I'll see you guys there.